That there is Javen Alstein. You are guilty of murder, you low-life scum. That is Tyler Lake. He is guilty of murder. That is Billy Woldridge, last known news name, 149 Center Street North, Napanee, Ontario. Alleged Hells Angels boss, Ontario chapter leader. He is a sex offender. He is a dangerous offender. He is guilty of having murdering my mother with Blair Hardy back in 2020. OPP revenge retaliation. This is Blair Hardy. There, and he is alleged Bandito's um, MC leader. There's also Tyler Lake. There's Javen Alstein. There is a guy named Ray Ray that lives here in Napanee. He has a deaf white pit bull. A roommate named Sam. There's a woman named Michelle. There's an Allie Cooper. There is a Bucktooth Bob. I believe his name is Robert Berry. There's a woman that lives on the corner of Center Street and Thomas, side door entrance. She has blonde hair, blondish reddish hair, and seriously obese. There's a Curtis that lives there as well. There's a Mike, a homeless guy here in Napanee that lives in a tent or a trailer. There is a Kim Della Rosable. There is a Brandy. <coughs> there is Shelly Barche. There is Bert Hustler. There is Maggie Falls, who is also a drug dealer, trafficker, and an undercover. Human traffickers, human sex trade slavery traffickers, guilty of false arrest, pedophilia, sodomy, sex assaults, kidnapping, medical blacklisting, deforming, tortures, and more. Ontario Provincial Police, Lennox and Addington, Napanee, Ontario, Spencer Mills, 14716. Ex-Chief, Staff Sergeants, Shannon Cork, Robert Kane, Robert Lucas. He's the one that says he can fuck people, kill them, get away with it, money badge, family, town council, and 100% right. Worst part is, is the guy lives maybe 50 feet away from my back door from where I live. There is a woman named Stacy. She was at the Daily Tea Company here in Napanee, a mental health worker. Blonde hair, now in Kingston. She left to distance herself from this crime and also because there is more victims in Kingston for her. There's Shelly Hafner as well. Hafner or Huffner. She is mental health and cop. There is Dr. Tatiana V, a.k.a. Margie V, Dr. Stacy's girlfriend. She is the one that basically signed my death certificate, getting me medically blacklisted, discriminated against, and everything else to assure no help assuring this crime against me for three years, not being taken serious. I've not even as much as had a stethoscope put on me from on, from Lennox and Ennington, Ontario, from the hospital here, from not being taken serious. I would be called names. I would be getting belittled. And then when I walk out, 
and not because of not taking it, they were making it turn around and making it look like I was refusing treatment. And that wasn't the case. I was being treated like a piece of shit. I was being belittled, called names and everything else, and I was expected to treat to take it. I don't think so. So that's their little stick at Napanee Hospital. They exist specifically for OPP and for themselves to commit crimes and to cover them up like police do. They use their credentials just like the others do as their positions. One's hands washing the others. They're working for Waldridge and Blair Hardy. Waldridge used to stalk children at Tim Hortons every day for the ex-chief and himself for sex slavery trafficking here in Napanee. The police you think you know. I mean, I was sold because I spoke up of police crimes out of the morning star here at Napanee, out of the morning, the homeless human trafficking, out of the Morning Star mission, and the homeless exploitation for monetary gains through charitable means. And as a result, I became a victim. They even have a justice of the peace here to make accusations and refuse arrest on anybody as well to make and to obstruct, to help obstruct. So they got all angles here covered with against their victims from preventing medical help, preventing arrest or legal help or anything else, especially when it's done to the poor, homeless, elderly disabled. This is how OPP are human trafficking. This is how they frame their victims and this is how they're murdering their victims. I have illegal prisoner tracking on me as well and I have no criminal history. It's all illegal. I have the remote neuro monitoring on me to read as him 24-7 surveillance and that's how I'm going through my identity theft and my changes that are happening to me through that from having about 50 different people using it on me and broadcasting through me from it. William Waldridge was told that he and I were switched at birth. He also thinks that he is my dad. And what was he? I don't think so. And he also believes that he is Harry Potter as well. So Tyler Lake, you were nothing but filth scum. Blair Hardy, you were nothing but filth scum. Billy Waldridge, you were nothing but filth scum. Javen Allstein, you were nothing but filth scum. And the rest of you pieces of shit garbage who were involved with this, taking OPP money and drugs to help them commit homicides, to help them to form, to help them torture, to help them end bloodlines. And that's exactly what has taken place with all you garbage junkies who are hanging off of OPP little dicks and their meth baggies through Spencer Mills and Robert Kane. But there's not too many people that get the opportunity to commit crimes, including murders for police, and get protected for it. <laughs> the whole right side of my face is completely and totally gone numb. I have no feeling in my face. I have no stimulation in my brain or my head in any way, shape, or form. From it being from my brain being so damaged, from my fucking skull being deformed and changed so many different sizes and shapes and everything else, I get what feels like air blowing through me. And no joke, when they are broadcasting through me these junky pieces of shit garbage using the remote neuromonitoring on me, 
I get their feces and their piss going through my body. Yeah, I know it sound it might sound crazy, but it's very one hundred percent true. It's decaying my insides. I no longer have a right lung. I no longer have a right kidney. When I eat, all my food goes to my right side instead of my left to my stomach. It's all going through my body as well. It's decaying me, and I know it, and there's nothing I can do about it. And that happened after I got kicked out of the hospital by Paladin to assure that this happens to me and to assure that I would not be get, get help. That's what, his, that's what he's there for. I bet he got a call from OPP stating that if he kicked me out of the hospital for no reason, except for going there to register and then sit down and him come running out almost like a bat out of hell, telling me to get the fuck out of there because nobody was going to see me today. So I guess anybody that goes to Lennox and Ennington Hospital, you better assure, you better check in with Paladin Security first to make sure it's okay that they actually allow it. Or if you were a victim of OPP, maybe you should phone them on Derry Avenue here in Napanee, Ontario, and ask them if it's okay if their victims get help or if they actually make a phone call to the doctor stating to help them. <laughs> Not gonna fucking happen. Doctors need to be criminally arrested and felony charged. OPP need to be criminally arrested and felony charged by outside police, but then again, RCMP are human traffickers as well, and CSIS has also been caught for human trafficking, and so has Toronto Police. And I've also asked others for help with this and been told to unknown certain words to fuck off. So you cannot ask for help against the, the thin blue line. They just don't go against each other. That's even here in Canada. You ask for help against the cops and you will be told to fuck off and you will be made even more a victim. Whether they have body cameras or not. Look at this shit. My identity theft is done, so congratulations, you pieces of shit. And right now, the one doing this to me is actually the homeless guy, Mike. He's about 60, 61, 62 years old, and he's a homeless guy that lives in a tent or a trailer. And he is a serious, serious fentanyl addict. That's who's broadcasting through me right now. So, you won OPP and all you other fucking scumbag pieces of shit who hang off their little balls for drugs and who are untouchable and unarrestable, along with the doctors and everybody else, you did it after three years, this is how you get revenge, this is how you claim Pontius Pilate, this is how you murder bloodlines. This is how you frame, so if anybody has been arrested by OPP, I would fight it unless they caught you 100% and can prove anything. Other than that, it's fake. They do false arrests just to get victims, to criminalize them, to put them, to, to fuck them over. I have proven it, and I can prove it, and I am proof of it. This is how they traffic, frame, and murder families and murder to missing. It is also the police as well, along with the rest of the pieces of shit who are untouchable to them because they own them. The police you think you know. Congratulations, you murdering fucking terrorists. I'm gonna wrap this up. Love all, hate none. I hope this is seen.